everybody, it's Sam from Viveworks Guitars. Today we're gonna go over how to wire up our VW024 guitar kit. This is the Modified V. And um, obviously this isn't a finished guitar. You'd wanna finish your body first, but this is just for a wiring demonstration. So we're gonna start by putting the pickups in position and feeding their wires through the channels to the control cavity. Um, one tip on this, the, the taller pickup ring goes towards the bridge position and then um, the shorter one goes towards the neck and they kind of slant downwards towards the neck. Now you may find it easier to do this with the components already mounted in the hole. Um, that's the way I would normally do it, but it, it's a little hard to see on video in that cavity. So I'm gonna do it out, outside of the, the body here and then you can fish those components in. So this kit has a two pickups uh, with one three-way switch and a volume and a tone pot. So the first thing we're gonna do is on the volume, let me grab some pliers. My wire cutters. We're gonna take this third leg and that's a ground. So we're gonna add some solder as we start soldering that right to the back of itself. On the tone pot, instead of doing that, we're going to put the tone capacitor in that same spot on that third leg. And those string bushings are gonna help me out here, hold this in place. So I'll start by soldering this. A little pool of solder on the back. And then solder that into place. And we'll solder the other leg to that third lug. Okay trim off the extra. While we're at it, we'll give some solder here to this third lug. Okay, now that we've got our pots prepped, we're gonna wire the pickups to the three-way switch. And there's a couple of styles of three-way switches that might come in your kit. This is a, a common one. Uh, on one side, we have one thick lug, that's gonna be our ground. And then on the other side, we have a set of three, two on the outside and, and one in the center. The center is gonna be our output that will go out to our volume pot. And the two outsides are for each of the, the hot leads on the pickup. So the pickup wire, we have a bare wire and then a shielded. The shielded is the hot and then the bare is the ground. So what we're gonna do is connect both of the grounds along with one extra wire to this thick lug and then the hots to each side of these. Okay, got our grounds done. Now we'll do our hots. And you don't need to worry about which side goes on which. Um, if you don't like the, the direction it goes to switch it from one way or the other, you can just flip the switch around once it's mounted in your guitar. Okay, now we'll do an output wire that will go to our pots. And as I mentioned, this will go set it somewhere where I can tin this wire. This will go to the center lug on the switch. And 
we'll take our volume pot. The hot is gonna to go to this very first lug on our volume. And then we need another wire that's gonna go from that same lug to the center lug on the tone. Now, colors don't matter a ton in guitar wiring like they might in other spots. There's a couple instances where the colors are standardized, but for the most part, manufacturers haven't standardized on, on colors for any given type of connection. Um, so feel free to use whatever makes sense for, for you and your project. Okay. And this will go to the center lug on the tone. Now that we have the pickups wired to the switch, the switch wired to the pots, we're gonna work on the output jack. On the output jack, there's two sets, there's two lugs on an output jack. Um, one piece of metal, you can follow it around, connects to, to this spring. This connects to the tip of your guitar cable. That's the hot. And then this other one that connects to the sleeve, that's your ground. So we're gonna start by connecting the hot. Get a little more solder on this wire. And then the other end will connect to the center lug of your volume. So now we have signal from our pickups to the switch, from the switch to the volume and tone, and out to the output jack. So now we just need to finish up with all of our ground wires. So we'll start with this ground that um, comes from the switch. And one way to think about this, every ground in the guitar should be grounded, should be connected to every other ground in the guitar one way or another. So what I like to do, we'll just ground the switch to one of the pots go from one pot to the other pot, and we'll send a wire out to the ground. The last ground wire comes from the bridge. There's a small access hole right here in the control cavity that goes out to the posts for the bridge. You just need a wire that, that stripped back and makes contact with those bridge posts, and then is soldered in on this end. On the bridge post side, there's no solder needed. It just needs to be good and tight, be sandwiched between the wood of the body and the bridge post. So we'll start with grounding the switch to the back of this volume pot. We're going to make this kind of our, our master ground location. So I'm going to put a big pool of solder. That one's done. If you've got other wire, if you're using the wire in the kit, it's, it's fine and it'll work. If you've got other wire, it can be helpful to use the same color for all your grounds, usually black. Um, that way, if you're debugging something later, it's, it's easier to, to follow what you've done. Uh, but there generally isn't enough of a single color in these kits to do that. So we'll just make do with what we've got here. Go from there, I'm gonna go out to this, the ground on the switch. I don't remember if I mentioned it, but the switch does need to be in position in the guitar body before you wire. Um, I'm just doing it outside of the body so it can be seen more easily on video. But you would need to, to 
connect the wires on the switch and then fish them through and, and connect the other end to your other components to the volume pump. Okay, that's done. We need one more bit of wire just to ground that tone pot and we'll be all done. This last wire, as I mentioned, will go through this control, this cavity in the control, this hole in the control cavity out to the bridge posts. And then we'll just connect the other end to our big old bundle of grounds here on the back of the volume pot. And that's it. So the wiring diagram is online. Hopefully this video is helpful on how this all goes through. At this point, we can mount the switch and the volume and the tone in their appropriate spots. Hopefully this is already mounted on the side here. And um, let me show you what that bridge ground looks like. Here's that wire we fished through. You would just strip some back and then when you put in the post, make sure that's making contact with the stripped wire. And that way all of your grounds are connected and you should have a nice, quiet guitar for the no ground buzz. Hopefully it's loud once you plug in and start playing. Uh, again, this is Sam from Vibeworks Guitars. Reach out to us through our support form if you need any additional help. Thanks.